Welcome to this video on controlling NDI Studio Monitor from inside the TriCaster macro system. Once you get the appropriate pieces installed here, this workflow will allow you to uh, send macro commands that you'll be able to uh, control NDI Studio Monitor running on a PC, either choose particular sources or also choose if you want it full screen or in windowed mode. And I'll go through and kind of show you how all these pieces work. So the first thing you need to do is download the appropriate files and uh, unzip them, which you'll get this folder that you see here. When you open this folder up, you're going to see the following things inside. There is the installers. There's an install TriCaster and an install VMC. Just run, double click on the appropriate one to install on the type of system you have, and this will copy the files onto your system. Uh, there's also a set of example macros that you can load in. This will just help you kind of get a better idea of how you would enter the information. And then uh, there's also this PDF that when you open up is going to uh, explain a little bit more in detail. This, this video will go through a lot of it as well, but uh, it kind of shows you what an example macro will look like, where you can get the information, um, what the, the fields you're going to enter are. Um, so this will give you a little more reference to work with as well. But uh, let's uh, start up my copy of NDI Studio Monitor and go into my TriCaster and show you how this works. So uh, in my TriCaster here, I'm going to go to the macro system. I'm going to configure a macro, and I've got, uh, I've got some ones I already created. We'll play, but let's just say we're going to create a brand new one here. So I'm going to say new macro, and let's call this one um, uh, VLC1 on laptop. So what this macro is going to do is play the, uh, one of these VLC streams um, on NDI Studio Monitor. So uh, once I've created my macro, I'm going to hit edit. And then you're going to type in uh, the following uh, information in here. So under shortcut, you're always going to type EXT. Under value, you're always going to type monitor. All right, those keywords will always stay the same for this workflow. Now the rest of these where it says key zero, value zero, key one, value one, this is where you're going to enter these pairs of information. You can enter these pairs in any order as long as you keep the pairs together, right? So, um, you know, if you, if you use uh, under key zero, like the host uh, command word, then under values here, you have to use the matching, you know, uh, value that goes with that. All right, so the four sets of um, information that you might be entering are going to be uh, the following. Um, the first is host. So you're going to type in host. And under value one, this is going to be the IP address uh, and possibly port number of NDI Studio Monitor. Now, when you start up NDI Studio Monitor, that normally displays at the bottom corner here. I, my, well, if I move my mouse, you can see it in there. So what you see here, this IP address, that is what you want to type in here. So I'm going to go back in and type that in. Now, if it showed a port number, that would show up with a colon. And, uh, you know, like maybe colon 81, if you're running two copies of NDI Studio Monitor, you would, you would also type in that co uh, colon 81 in there. You don't need to type in the HTTP colon slash slash, just the IP number and potentially the port number. The next, this is the only field, by the way, that is required. All the rest of these fields are, I would say in a way, optional. I mean, optional in the sense that there might be workflows where you're not going to use them, but uh, often you are going to need them still. So the next, uh, one is the NDI channel you want to display. Now, if you, um, if all you want to do is control the size of the window, like make it run full screen, you could leave this value out, but probably this is one you're going to use a lot. So the keyword for this one is channel. And then under uh, value one, you're going to enter the NDI channel name. Now, this is going to follow the standard NDI naming conventions, which again, if you, uh, if you go in here, when you click, you know, the, the first level is the, uh, the group or device name, and then the second level is the individual channel name. So let's say I want to pull off this uh, TSVS100 system VLC1. That's the channel I want. So the, the device name is TS-VS100, and then the channel name is VLC1. So the way this would get entered in here would be uh, the device name TSVS100, space, parent, uh, parenthesis, and then the channel name. So this was VLC1 parenthesis. Um, spacing and everything is critical. It must match exactly. So, uh, you know, try to type this in exactly as it would show up in there. 
The next field is uh, if you want to control the display of the window of the application. Do you want it to run full screen? Do you want to choose a monitor for it to display on? Uh, do you want to just run it in windowed mode? So the, the, uh, the uh, command for this one is called display. And then for value, what we would put in here is what you would see uh, in the uh, output option in here in NDI Studio Monitor. So uh, monitor one, monitor two, all monitors. If you run it on a single monitor display system, your options are just going to be uh, full screen. Uh, and then there, in both systems, you'll see this floating window. Now, uh, this is the, the floating window is the only one you're not going to type floating window. You would just type the word window if you want windowed. But otherwise, you type exactly what you would see in here. So this happens to be monitor two. So let's say when I run this, I want this uh, application to, to display full screen on monitor two. So I would go in here and I would type in monitor two. And then finally, the last thing you need is uh, when you installed NDI Studio Monitor, uh, there's an option and it's normally set to, to install with authentication turned on. So you need to enter the authentication information so that uh, this tool can then talk to uh, NDI Studio Monitor. Now, if you uh, installed NDI Studio Monitor and you choose to, you choose to disable the authentication, then you could, um, you don't enter this at all, just leave, leave this information out. But in my case, I have this on, so uh, it's auth is what you would type in, and then you're going to type in the username, colon, and then the password. And in my case, I just have admin, uh, an admin for both, and that way it knows how to uh, correctly talk to it. And that's everything you would enter in. So if I uh, go and put this uh, side by side here and run, this should uh, connect up to this channel of video, and then uh, it should also make the, uh, the monitor full screen. So let's uh, run it here and see if it works. You can see it just went full screen. There's the video, and uh, it's working. And I'm just going to uh, switch to a, a few other ones on here. Uh, I've got just some other macros that uh, are in the system here. So I've got ones here that will uh, put it back into windowed mode, turn it off, uh, display different things on there. So just, just to show a few other examples of some of these running on here. So we'll put this back in. Let's say I want to put it back into windowed mode. So you can see it has dropped out. Let's say I want to display nothing uh, in the window. It puts it back into the default. Let's put uh, the output of my VMC system uh, on there. And just to make it so it's something different that we're looking at here, let's uh, uh, do a quick take so it's some different video. And I'll run this one, and you can see that now uh, it's running uh, this output on there. And let's say I want to display that back full screen again. So you can see that you can get a, a decent amount of control in here uh, just by making macros that either do the individual functions you need, or you can even write macros that do you know, all the functions in one. So I hope you find this tool useful, and I want to thank you.